Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. With record-setting temperatures this summer, the coroner's office is reporting dozens of heat-related deaths. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7 tonight. I'm Luna Bleets. In Health, brought to you by Centerwell Senior Primary Care, discover primary care focused on you. The Clark County Coroner's Office says the summer heat has claimed the lives of 63 people so far this year, and that number is expected to grow. Of the victims who have been identified so far, the youngest was 29 years old and the oldest was 94. The deaths also list other factors, including illnesses and drug use. But an expert at the Desert Research Institute says he hopes the county will deliver heat warnings more effectively with a focus on communities affected by urban heat islands. And the heat is sticking around. Let's take a look at weather sponsored by Star Nursery, your gardens partner for every bloomin' thing. Looking at an overnight of 89 degrees and lots of sunshine tomorrow with a high of 109 and low of 85. Then the clouds are expected to roll in starting Thursday with a high of 109 and low of 89. Then dropping to a high of 104 Friday and low of 88. Right now, there's an 11% chance of rain on Saturday and 15% chance on Sunday, with a predicted high of 108 and low of 89 for both days, and looking at highs back up in the 110s for next week. Now for your top stories, sponsored by Nevada Hand's Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. A man is in custody in Mexico in relation to the 2020 death of a Las Vegas woman. Eric Ranhel Ibarra will remain in Mexico pending a decision on his extradition to the U.S., according to Metro Police. He is suspected of killing Leslie Palacio on August 29, 2020. According to court records, her body was found in Moapa Valley in September 2020. A 44-year-old man has pleaded guilty to fatally shooting his roommate on November 9, 2023. Major Sanford appeared in court this morning to enter his plea for first-degree murder, robbery with a deadly weapon, and assault with a deadly weapon. Sanford was accused of using a stolen gun to kill 46-year-old Shannon Awa, then shooting toward a group of students outside the Las Vegas Academy of the Arts. Sanford could face life in prison with the possibility of parole after 20 years. Republican vice presidential nominee J.D. Vance held his first rally in Nevada at Liberty High School for a crowd of several hundred supporters. Former President Donald Trump's running mate leaned into his version of the topic of loyalty, tying it to several topics, including his military service, bringing manufacturing jobs back to the U.S., and illegal immigration. To all illegal aliens, President Trump and I have a different message. If you are here against the laws of this country, pack your bags because you're going home in six months. Vance also called presidential candidate Kamala Harris a, quote, failed politician in his attack on the current vice president. According to the Trump-Vance campaign, Vance will be traveling to Arizona on Wednesday for another rally. Sports brought to you by PT's Taverns. With over 65 locations, there's a PT's near you. Visit PTsTaverns.com. Aces fans will see an increase in ticket prices next season for the first time since Mark Davis bought the team in 2021. The average ticket price will increase from $30.78 this year to $43.95 for next season. The big changes will come on the higher end. The Aces courtside seats on the sideline and baseline were $500 per game and $10,000 for the 2024 season. Those prices will increase to $600 and $13,200 in 2025. In business news, some of the laid-off union members who worked at the Mirage are now learning some new culinary skills to help them with their next career venture. The Culinary Academy of Las Vegas hosts a 13-week professional cooking course at its Lake Mead Boulevard campus in North Las Vegas. Those who are part of the union have up to six months to take the classes for free thanks to a trust funded by the union and nearly 40 partnering hotel casinos. The goal is to help those workers who have been laid off find work at another hospitality location in Vegas. Vegas Nation sponsored by Sage Casino's STN Sports. Download the app today. Rookie tight end Brock Bowers has been turning heads since OTAs back in April, and training camp is no different. New Raiders quarterback Gardner Minshew shared his first impressions of the Georgia product in Costa Mesa. Quiet, but uh, not really good, dude. He's like, you can see it in OTAs, like, 
he's a super solid route runner, but once he gets the ball, he doesn't move like a tight end, you know, and there's a lot of fun stuff and creative stuff we'll be able to do with our tight end group. Um, and get some great matchups out there. Sports betting brought to you by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. NFL training camps are underway, and Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes is a 6 to 1 favorite at the Westgate Superbook to win the NFL regular season MVP award. Bills quarterback Josh Allen and Bengals signal caller Joe Burrow are each 8 to 1, followed by Texans second year quarterback CJ Stroud at 10 to 1. Packers quarterback Jordan Love has been a popular play with the betters and is down to 12 to 1. Lions quarterback Jared Goff, Eagles quarterback Jalen Hurts, and 49ers signal caller Brock Purdy are all listed at 16 to 1 each. In lifestyle news, Henderson is removing 17,000 square feet of grass from one of its parks. The city said it's removing decorative turf from Anthem Hills Park near Reunion Drive and Anthem Parkway to save nearly 780,000 gallons of water every year. The move also complies with Assembly Bill 356, which prohibits Colorado River water distributed by the Southern Nevada Water Authority from being used to irrigate non-functional turf. To date, the city of Henderson says it has removed 287,000 square feet of turf and saved nearly 59 million gallons of water. Now for entertainment, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's with live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. Picasso, the legendary restaurant at Bellagio run by celebrity chef Julian Serrano for 26 years, has announced its closing on August 16th. LVRJ food reporter Jonathan Wright tells us about how Chef Serrano feels about its closing. He's very proud of what he's accomplished. It's a little bittersweet, of course. Unlike many celebrated chefs in Vegas, Chef Serrano was in the kitchen almost nightly for 26 years. That is very unusual in Las Vegas for a chef of his caliber. And I imagine he's a little tired. He has grandchildren and he'd like to see if there's one last chapter in his career. But this was a good point to retire and for Picasso to close at the same time. Thanks for watching 7 at 7 tonight. Watch 7 at 7 twice a day, Monday through Friday, and search Review Journal to follow us on your favorite streaming platform. See you tomorrow morning for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.